DHEA. It is not a password or a secret code. It is a hormone, a fairly unknown one, but a very exciting one. What is DHEA? Well, that's the short version. The correct name is dehydroepiandrosterone. It is a stress hormone produced in the adrenal glands. When I say stress hormone, you can already imagine what it does. It is generated by stress, and when it drops, a certain fatigue is the result. In medicine so far, it is also considered the fountain of youth, something that all people want, and also an anti-aging hormone. It all sounds wonderful. That's how it's used, sometimes abused, and therefore jokingly, DHEA stands in German for this heals absolutely everything. It is exaggerated, of course, but that is the direction. I measure it in saliva, like all hormones that are saliva capable. The range is very high. It can be low, but it can be high. About six-fold difference between low and high value in saliva, and that is still normal. DHEA reacts very quickly to stress. Let's say you have the flu. DHEA rises quickly and in large amounts. Or you have stress, or you are nervous. DHEA increases immediately. And that's why we call it the stress hormone. Now, what happens when you have a deficiency? Logically, if it is a stress hormone and you have low levels, certain body functions will be missing. I see low levels in CFS, chronic fatigue syndrome patients. This is such a common symptom. Many people suffer from fatigue and do not know why. Of course, this has many reasons, but lack of DHEA is one of them. Without burnout, levels are always low too. The adrenal glands are exhausted. The cortisol, as well as the DHEA levels, are low. And this is easily treatable. Cortisol is much more difficult, but DHEA can add it easily. It is also related to vitality. If you have vitality deficiencies, take a look at your DHEA levels. Levels also decrease with age, so weariness or listlessness can be improved somewhat with DHEA. And finally, the immune system is also weakened with a DHEA deficiency. Now, how do we treat this? You have to measure it. You should never just blindly add hormones, but this happens so often and is simply not professional. Hormones are tricky and they need to be measured so that we can achieve the correct levels and that we don't add too much. You can find DHEA in pill form, but also in cream form. We need bio-identical DHEA, 1% cream that you can rub here, on the leg or on the abdomen. It really doesn't matter. The pill needs a prescription. In Switzerland, pills are available in 15 and 25 milligrams. More than 25 milligrams should never be taken. Unfortunately, there are also doctors who prescribe 50 milligrams or more. That is clearly too much. But when used properly, it is a beneficial hormone.